Good evening, fans, and welcome to Championship USA Wrestling. The match is already in progress. My name's Dutch Savage. What a card we have for you tonight. Guess who just returned to the Pacific Northwest at the request of Bruiser Brian Cox? Billy Jack Hayes. That's right, one of the other legends of the professional wrestling business, Billy Jack. Down here in Vancouver, Brian made a phone call here last week after the barbed wire match we had here when Jesse Barr and his cohorts cut the wires and got in the ring and wrapped him up in the stuff and tried to do him bodily harm. After it was broken up, Billy, uh, Billy Jack was called by Bruiser Brian and asked to be his partner for tonight's match. Billy Jack just, he just couldn't wait to get back here. Made plane reservations that night and he's on the card tonight. So you'll be seeing him here later on for the main event. There's Richie Magnus coming across for a big elbow drop, misses it. Colonel DeBeers rolls out of the way. Two ring-wise veterans going at one another. DeBeers, the larger of the two, the merciless mercenary from Johannesburg, South Africa. Just walked all over the stomach of Richie Magnus. That's right, Billy Jack Haynes is on the card tonight. I don't know whether some of you fans remember Billy Jack, some of you newer fans or not, but he's probably one of the strongest men in professional wrestling today. Stands about 6'5", weighs about 280. Huge, huge man. Been through the ring wars. He's now a veteran. And I might add, and this might sound like it's pulling my own chain, but I'm the guy that broke Billy Jack Hayes into the wrestling business in the early 70s. There's an arm whip by Richie Magna, reversal on Colonel Beers. He body presses him in the corner. All 280 pounds of him. Down goes De Beers. Fir face first. Center ring here at the Bagley Center. Richie Magnus, he has his hands full. He gives Colonel Beers a kick to the stomach, wallops him across the shoulder area with that huge forearm of his. Gives him some turnbuckle treatment. Colonel Beers. Former heavyweight champion of the world. All he can handle right now with Rich Magnus in the ring center. Boy, I tell you, I got so excited in the preview of tonight's card. I almost missed Billy Jack's name. I was so, so excited. Just so glad to see him. He looks great. I was back in the dressing room talking with him earlier. What a phenomenal athlete Billy is. Always has been. Tip-top condition. He's one of the legends from the Portland area. Made his mark all over the world. He called this area his home, as, as do many of us. We're glad to have him back. I hope he decides to stay around. What a great tag team he and Bruiser Brian Cox would make. They'd be unstoppable. Richie Magnus slams Colonel DeBeers in that top turnbuckle again. Don't forget, fans. Tonight, come on down here to the Bagley Center. Be part of the action. Later on in the evening, go home and watch yourself on television. Bagley Center. You know how to get here, don't you? Just come I-5 or 205 north or southbound. Get off on SR-500 exit, the Vancouver Mall exit. If you're on 205, you're going to go west. If you're on I-5, you're going to go east. And you go to Falk, F-A-L-K Road. Turn south on Falk. Go to Plamondon like the plum tree. Plamondon, turn right, and you're at the Bagley Center. Big back body drop by Rich Magnus. Sends the Johannesburg demon into the mat. Colonel DeBeers, there's a small package and a roll-up by Richie Magnus. DeBeers, oh, DeBeers just about got himself in. A lot of weight to throw off. Oh, Magnus working on every piece of flesh that he sticks out. Hands, arms, tries for another pin. Referee Dale Wire of the National Wrestling Association. Officials is your referee for tonight. At ringside, Roland Roland Schumacher from the Washington State Athletic Commission. Inspector presiding. Got a good crowd on tap tonight for the TV card. Place just about packed. Richie Magnus trying to lay that body across Colonel Beers. Richie Magnus looks like he's gasping for air right now. De Beers and no better straights than Magnet. Both gentlemen up to their feet. Double arm, double leg takedown by Magnet. Tries for a pin. Beers reached for that rope. That broke it in a hurry. Don't forget now. Warned you. 
Billy Jack Hayes on the card. Big tag team match coming up tonight, the main event. There's a suplex by Magnet on the bigger man. We're going to be telling you tonight about our toy drive. There's a bell ending this match. This was a one fall, 10 minute time limit for opening a match, and evidently the time has run out. There is no winner. The match is a draw. And this is Championship USA Wrestling, and this is Dutch Savage. And don't go away. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, folks, I'm Sandy Barr. 26 years, every Saturday and Sunday, we've had a flea mart. Once again, it's Christmas time, the best time to find bargains for gifts. And now, every Wednesday evening, there's a bargain fair, open from 5 to 9 p.m. Come out and support the little guys for your bargain buys. Portland Wrestling is still alive. You can see us every Sunday at the Bagley Center in Vancouver, 6 to about 8 p.m. Dial 283-6993. All right, here we go, wrestling fans, with the world-famous Johannesburg Terror, Colonel De Beer. You people out there probably missed one of the greatest exhibitions of hand-to-hand -hand combat that's ever come down through the pike. You maybe have seen tough man contests, street brawls, but you miss Colonel De Beers, the world's greatest athlete and military strategist. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, myself and Buddy Wayne, Wayne and De Beers, we're in single matches right now because the promoter is afraid of the violence. There will be so much bloodshed that the whole first roll will look like, you know what? Who's that comedian that smashes all the pumpkins and what's his name? No idea. They will probably cover the whole front roll with plastic because of the HIV virus that we're going to spread. Oh, get, get out of it. That's terrible talk, De Beers. What kind of talk is that? There's young men and women and kids in the audience. What kind of talk is that? They should know about AIDS because this is an HIV-infected country. South Africa is still pure. We have none of those lowlifes that contract diseases like that. Beers we're a pure country. I disagree with you. One, there it got my cord wrapped around this way. Fans, Colonel De Beers, as usual. The comments of Colonel De Beers are not necessarily those of the television show you're viewing right now. And any derogatory remarks he made are not our fault. They're his. We'll be right back after this message. For some of the best steaks in town, come on over to the Red Steer, located at 2514 North Marine Drive. While you're here on Monday and Wednesday night, you can learn some of the latest country moves from 715 to 815. After you've learned the dances, you will want to come back every Friday and Saturday night because KWJJ is here to supply the best country music to dance to from 8 p.m. till close. So grab your sweetheart and come on down for great food. After you're done eating, you can stay and dance the night away at the Red Steer. Folks, I'm Sandy Barr. And we just wanted to let you know that in addition to our 26 years of a weekend flea mart, which is open every Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. with lots of new and used items, we're also open every Wednesday evening from 5 to 9 p.m. with new and handcrafted items. Here you'll find bargains, bargains, and more bargains. Stop by the bargain fair. Admission is free, so bring the whole family. For more information on the flea mart or the bargain fair, 283-6993. Hey, man, there are a lot of reasons for not doing drugs. Stay away from drugs, because someone you love wants to be just like you. Sorry, folks, but once again, with all the things happening, uh, we're going to have to cut into another match, but you're going to get to see the whole main event, and it was a long match. 
And so we'll start right now with action. Part of the United States, you've cleaned up almost all the, the five states in that radius of, of Tennessee. Is there anybody back there left for you to wrestle? <laughs> I got some tough wrestlers. I wrestled uh, Jerry Lawler, Sid Vicious, oh, Lex Luger, Davey Boy Smith. They've got some tough guys out there. But, uh, oh, well, the Northwest I always had the toughest. Too. You've beaten them too, I might add. Well, the, the Northwest Dutch is where I'm from, and they always had the toughest here. Well, we've got a huge card on tap tonight. I can't wait for that main event that you're going to be involved in. Bruiser Bryan right now taking on Dean Rush, it's very unlikely that uh, Bruce Rebel will do a single like this before a big tag, but he must want Rush just as bad as he wants the rest of the pack. Dane Rush with a side headlock on the Bruiser right now at ring center. Dane Rush pretty well having his way. The, the Bruiser picks him up. Back suplex, throws him off. Down goes Rush, hurts the back of his neck. That was quite a huge bump he just took, and the Bruiser goes in for an arm drag. Stayed in very tight on him, gets a standing wrist lock. I think that belly to back suplex about knocked Dean Rush out. <laughs> it didn't do him any good. He's definitely on uh, wheezy legs right now. Well, you came in just the right time, just for the just for the Christmas season here. We're hoping you'll stay around for Christmas, but if you have to go back to the southeastern part of the United States, we'll understand. We'd sure love to have you around for the holidays, and maybe you come back here to stay. Northwest needs you. It needs a real good shot in the arm, and you, Billy Jack, will be just the one to give it to us. Thanks, Billy. Hey, folks, have you purchased your Christmas trees yet? Well, if you haven't purchased your Christmas tree, you want to get one of the nicest trees in the world. The last four years, I've been getting mine at a noble fir tree farm. Remember that? Noble firs, not just pine trees. These are noble firs. Just give them a call at Eddie Bear Noble Fir Christmas Tree Farm. Phone number 686-3584. Got that? 360-686-3584. That's Eddie Bear Noble Fir. Christmas tree farm it's on the Washington side of the river here. I had to give them a plug because these people out there, they do a lot of work for charity and we sure like the trees that we get from them. Anyway, back to the ring. Dane Rush. Bruiser Brian. There's an arm whip by Dane. Tries for a elbow smash. Bruiser ran into him and over him, I might add. Tries for a pin, one, two, and he kicks out. Referee Dale Wire watching the action very closely. The National Wrestling Association referee. These guys are plastering each other out there, Dutch. Well, I'll tell you. You know, everybody forgets about this Dane Rush. This Dane Rush was one heck of an amateur wrestler during his high school years, a couple of years in college. And he knows what he's doing out there, but he's 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 a resilient human being. He's huge, and you just you know, because of the way he looks, all that hair and stuff, you think, well, this guy's not that tough. He'll take your head off for you. Well, that suplex he took from Brian earlier about knocked him out, but he's uh, he's got it back together a little bit now. Since you've been gone, he's been this uh, Dane Rush has been in some real Donnie Brooks, and he's won an awful, awful lot of matches. When he and uh, Lou the Bull Andrews team up, they're almost unstoppable. You know, Jesse Barr is the cohort. He's the guy that's leading all these guys. I didn't know that. Yeah, Jesse Barr's got his finger in everything. You do know that Barr's one half of the World Heavyweight Tag Team Championship now, don't you, with his partner, Ryu Mago from Japan? No, I didn't know that. Brian just phoned me up and told me he needed some help, and I looked at the tape, and two against one is not where it's at, Dutch, so we're two against two tonight. We'll see who comes out on top tonight. They can't wrap this kid up in barbed wire tonight with you around, either. That was a tough night. Oh, they had lacerations all over the body. They still got some stitch marks from that match. <laughs> Also on the card tonight, Bart Sawyer, Buddy Wayne will be here. You already saw Colonel DeBeers. Next week coming in is a good friend of yours, Jimmy Superfly Snook is going to be back. I tell you, that guy never ages. <laughs> Unreal. You're watching Championship USA Professional Wrestling, in case you just tuned in, fans. The best in the West. If you want to watch us on Channel 49, cable access television, you can do it at your leisure four times a week. Just check your television guides for the times and the days. Big elbow by Dane Rush. Tries for a pin on the bruiser. The bruiser catapults him off. That's 300 pounds he's pressing off the mat there. Oh, huge right hand in the stomach area. Oh, I felt that all the way over here. Lion mare. Dane Rush sits down on him. There's a 
chin lock from the reverse side, kneeling down by Dane Rush on Bruiser Bryan. With your newcomers to Championship USA Professional Wrestling, Bruiser Bryan is the blonde-headed gentleman. And Dane Rush has on the black and white striped trunks. Dane Rush still wears those old wrestling, amateur wrestling boots. Have you noticed that? Yeah. You know, Sandy Barr has done a great job with Championship Wrestling USA on Channel 6, KOIN TV, from 2 to 3 in the morning. And uh, what I understand, the rating is just phenomenal, like old Portland wrestling used to be. Well, it's coming right along. We appreciate the fans' patronage. We're not over in the Oregon doing too many shows over in Oregon because the commission's making it impossible over there for anybody to do any business in that state. Yeah, they, have, they have what they call a wrestling boxing czar. There hasn't been a wrestling match or a, or a boxing match in the state of Oregon now for quite a long time, and that guy's making a huge salary on the taxpayers for doing absolutely nothing. You're talking about Bruce Anderson, executive director. Is that what his name is? I don't know what his name is. Yeah, he's a joke. He shouldn't even be in there, but that's... I don't know if we can talk about that or not. Well, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to make the fans know that their tax dollars are being spent in the wrong way. Here's, look at this, look at this, up on the top rope, Dane Rush perched like an eagle, comes off with an elbow, there's nobody home, the bruiser rolled out just in the nick of time, Dane Rush had to, had to hurt that upper arm, he really smacked that canvas hard, the bruiser getting up to his feet, shaking the cobwebs, right hand, another right hand, there's three, four of them he lays into him, whips him across the ring, goes in for a power slam, tries for a pin, Dane Rush kicks out. The bruiser turning beat red. When he turns beat red, that means he is mad. There's a back body drop. Oh, and he comes in with a clothesline. Takes Got him going. Dane Rush down to the mat. Go ahead, Billy, you commentate. I'll sit here and be quiet for a while. Just good to have you here. Well, he's got him going. We should go for the pin here. Cover him. There's Jesse Barr. Jesse Barr has come out to ringside to extort his one of his charges, Dane Rush. Barr is coming around the ring, trying to get to his charge. Dane Rush going the opposite direction. Well, what's he doing out here now? He comes out every now and then to uh, give a little advice. To now he's now he's really getting into Dane Rush's shorts. He said, listen, you do what you're told. I've told you several times on our battle plan. Use the strategy I told you about in the dressing room. Did he slip him something, Dutch? I didn't see him slip anything, not from the angle I'm sitting at. I've got a camera woman right directly in front of me. I can't see the ring. I'm just watching the monitor. Well, I want to make sure he doesn't interfere here, that's for sure. Dane Rush tries for a lift. Oh, the bruiser came off and gave him one of his patented Idaho tackles. He was an All-American nose guard at Idaho University. Look at this standing suplex. Referee Dale Wire jumps out of the way. Just a minute. Oh, look out. There goes Billy Jack has just dropped his microphone and his headset. He's heading out to the ring, and he is going after Jesse Barr. Jesse Barr doesn't see him. He sees him now. Billy Jack has just accosted Jesse Barr on the floor outside the ring. The Bruiser sneaks in behind Dane Rush, rolls him up, pins him. What a maneuver. Dane Rush was just pinned by the Bruiser as Billy Jack pinned it off. Jesse Barr, who came out at ringside to try to disrupt the match, it didn't work. Billy J Jack Hayes helping Bruiser Bryan win this bout. We'll be right back after these messages, fans. Don't go away. Whether it's a hot rod, with a beautiful engine, or just a family kid around car, come to Freddy's Auto Sales and Service Center, located at 664 Baseline in Cornelius, Oregon. That's area code 503-357-9838. Area code 503-357-9838. It's all here. Freddy's Auto Sales and Service Center. Say out last manual. Ladies and gentlemen, this home is located just north of the old Sarah's store on 41st Northwest Avenue, close to Ridgefield. You've got to see this home. It's a contemporary. An artist owns it, has four levels inside the house. 
It's over 2,000 square feet. The place is cross fence. There's two and a half beautiful acres. There's a great view. You can see it on your screen right now. That's a small rose garden he has planted there by himself. This was a bachelor's quarter. You won't believe how clean this house. $170,000 takes it. It's a steal. John L. Scott. Dean Rush is up here for an interview. He's been wandering around up here on the podium. If I can get him over here, Mr. Rush. Bullies! Bullies! Jesse Barr comes out to give the body some advice. And Bruiser Brian! Bullies! Jesse! So I was teaching him a lesson, and Billy Jack comes out and starts bullying Jesse. They're bullies! Well, it appears that Billy Jack Hayes is a bully because he chased Jesse Barr away from the ring and kept him from interfering in the match. What do you fans think about that? I don't think Billy Jack Hayes is a bully. Anyway, we'll be right back after these messages. What a crybaby. Hi, folks. I'm Sandy Barr. For great buys, come on over to the flea mart any Saturday or Sunday. We're open from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Also, every Wednesday evening from 5 to 9 p.m., there's great bargains along with new and handcrafted items. We call it the Bargain Fair. And don't forget, Portland Wrestling still lives, only it's in Vancouver, just 10 minutes away. For directions or information, call 283-6993. For some of the best steaks in town, come on over to the Red Steer, located at 2514 North Marine Drive. While you're here on Monday and Wednesday night, you can learn some of the latest country moves from 715 to 815. After you've learned the dances, you will want to come back every Friday and Saturday night because KWJJ is here to supply the best country music to dance to from 8 p.m. till close. So grab your sweetheart and come on down for great food. After you're done eating, you can stay and dance the night away at the Red Steer. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. This is the main event of the evening. In the red corner, weighing in at 275 pounds from Vancouver, Washington, Jesse the Bulldog Barr. His partner, weighing 285 pounds from Texas, Lou the Bull Andrews. In the blue corner, weighing 295 pounds from Idaho Falls, Idaho, Bruiser Brian. His tag team partner, welcome him back to the Northwest, weighing 270 pounds, the master of the full Nelson, Billy Jack Haynes. Well, there you go, fans. Introduction to the participants for the main event. Bruiser Brian Cox, Billy Jack Hayes being looked at by referee Dale Wire against Jesse Barr, one half of the World Heavyweight Tag Team Championship with his partner, Lou the Bull Andrews. Big main event. Billy Jack Hayes returning to the Northwest. Fans glad to see him. Looks great. He's in wonderful physical condition. Coming back after a huge, successful tour in the southeastern United States. Georgia, Tennessee, West Virginia, Virginia, North and South Carolina, Alabama, into Georgia. Pretty well running the, ruling the, ruling the roost down there, as they would say. I know it's Billy Jack Haynes. My end isn't that good. People are saying, it's Billy Jack Haynes. I know it's Billy Jack Haynes. Have I got it straight yet? They're yelling at me. But that's all right. I'll take all the constructive criticism I can, and the fans are fired up here for this main event. Jesse Barr going to start for his team. Bruiser Brian Cox and Billy Jack picking out who's going to go first in theirs, and it looks like Bruiser Brian's going to go first with Jesse Barr. Billy getting the fans up. Bar and the Bruiser ring center. Wrapping each other around and the Bruiser throws Bar down. Bar complains about the hair. Well, 
Referee Dale Wire saying you better get your hands out of that man's hair. But you and I both know that Bruiser didn't pull that hair. Barr is a master of deception. Referee has to ask. There's the Bruiser and Barr locking up hands. Ring center, Barr. Top wrist lock on the Bruiser. The Bruiser reverses it into a hammer lock. Barr immediately reaches for the rope to break the hold. Bruiser has to back up. That's right, fans. You're watching Championship USA Professional Wrestling here on Coin 6, Channel 6, the best television station in the Pacific Northwest. Championship USA Wrestling. And Coin 6 can't get any better, and that's right. You're looking on the apron out there. The fellow walking back and forth is none other than Billy Jack Haynes. Billy Jack, the master of the Paul Nelson. You might as well call him the master of disaster. There's a try for a, an atomic drop by the bruiser on Barr. Barr dives for the ropes to get out of the ring, to get away from him. Bruiser Brian Cox, Billy Jack Hayne, Lou the Bull Andrews, Jesse Barr. What a tag team match this is. You figure each gentleman in there weighs close or over 300 pounds. That's a lot of beef, and I, I defy you to find any fat on these gentlemen. That's all muscle, folks. Jesse Barr, probably one of the better wrestlers of the entire group. One of the most sought-after high school collegiate wrestlers in the United States at one time. Jesse Barr, what an illustrious amateur background. You can't even begin to believe what he's done as a professional. He's won half of the World Tag Team Championship already in his young career. Some people, it takes years to get to that stature, but Jesse Barr has been at it for years. Always on top, no matter where he goes. He reaches out and tags the bull. Bruiser sees it and backs up. It's main event time. You're just tuning in. Championship USA Wrestling here at the Bagley Center downtown Vancouver every Sunday night at 6 p.m. All right, Bruiser Brian tags Billy Jack Hayes and says, come on in. Now the Bull is going to have to face Billy Jack Hayes. Just going crazy. This is the kind of crowd noise we like to hear. Place is rocking tonight here at the Bagley Center. A bull. Billy Jack Hayes in center. Billy comes up with a standing wrist lock. He twists the bull wrist. Takes it inside to a standing figure four arm bar. Andrews goes into the rope. Billy Jack Hayes is going to be forced to be backed up away from him. Well, I tell you, these fans will jump all over you. My Haynes doesn't sound like a Haynes. It sounds like a Hayes. And I'm sorry, everybody sorry. My apologies. It's Billy Jack Haynes. There's a, oh, there's an amateur takedown from behind. The bull upside down and out of the ring underneath. Underneath the bottom rope. Billy Jackson, you get out here yourself. Jesse Barr, and a Barr whispering some instructions to the bull as to what he should do with this huge human being that he's facing. The bull's a big guy, but Billy Jack Hayne, probably one of the strongest wrestlers in the business today. And he's phenomenally quick for his size, weighs close to 100 pounds. There's an arm drag by the bull. That caught Billy unaware. This is a pretty good hold. That's all right, pretty good. Pretty good. 
one hole. Gives him a kudo, he says, that's pretty good. But I wouldn't get too smart with it. There's a go behind the leg, trip. Goes in, comes up with that figure four hammer lock from behind. Got him hooked in there pretty good. He's got body weight over top of him. That'll hold him down. He just cinched up on that. You could hear the bull yelling all over the arena. The bull trying to get to that rope. He manages to get to the rope. Bruiser comes in, thumps him on the arm, grabs the same hold. Now Haynes and Barr are having words over in the corner. Bull has his hands full. Look the Bull Andrews. He's a poor arm bar by Here's a Brian Cox. The action has slowed down to a test of strength here, and I think I know who's going to win this one. There's an arm drag, inside arm drag, very tight. By Bruiser Brian Cox on. Lou the Bull Andrews. Jesse Barr saying, hey, Bull, come here. I want to talk to you. Bull, come here. The Bull leans over, gets instructions from Barr. That's something I never did, fans, when I was a, a wrestler. I never looked to somebody else to give me instructions on what to do in the ring. I learned by my own. I didn't take instructions from anybody else. Didn't need it. Jesse Barr has these guys hypnotized. He talks to Lou the Bull Andrews and Dane Rush like they're dirt. And they take it. I don't understand it. But they've been fairly successful as a team listening to him thus far. There's an arm drag. As soon as Barr tagged in and stepped into the ring, Bruiser Bryant has got him. You'll notice that Jesse Barr's left forearm, left upper arm is taped. And there's a gauze pattern underneath. That's to cover up the sutures from the bob wire match he's got last week. Bruiser Bryan has slits all over his back and underneath his tights. The same thing, and he's got cuts all over the forehead underneath the hair there from that barbed wire match last week here at the Bagley Center. Don't forget, next week, fans, another match, a big match on the card. Bart Sawyer has challenged Buddy Wayne, who has just a Pier 9 brawl, knockdown, drag out, tavern fight, you name it. Anything goes. They can wear boots, spring chains, anything and go all over the arena parking lot or whatever. That's just going to be one of the bouts on next week's car. And tonight here at the Bagley Center, tonight, man, oh, man, it shows. If you folks don't get down here tonight, the Bagley Center, you're going to miss one of the biggest cards of the year. Don't forget about the Dornbecker's Children's Hospital toy drive we've got going. You bring a toy that's unwrapped. The toy has to be brand new, nothing used or dirty. It has to be a brand new toy in a box. We'll wrap it up and give it to the kids at the Dornbecker Hospital. If you'll do that, you bring a toy like that, you get in free from now till December the 17th. And again, we might add, don't forget the Christmas Day card here. December 25th, Monday, December 25th at 7 p.m here at the Bagley Center. That's Monday, December 25th, here at the Bagley Center after Christmas Day. Christmas evening, 7 o'clock. Big, huge card, the biggest card of the year. We'll be going into the bigger part of the auditorium, into the big gymnasium here at the Bagley Center with this card. That's how big it's going to be. I would suggest you get here early, get your reservations. 503-289-4222. 503-289-4222. Blue, the Bull Andrews brings the bruiser back to his corner. Jesse Barr tags in and immediately starts attacking Bruiser Bryant with a barrage of stomps to the midsection to wear him down. Barr is an expert at that. Bryant's had the wind knocked on. Huge chop by Barr sends Bryant to the mat. Oh, me, oh, my, an elbow, excuse me, a knee drop right to the forehead of Bryant. I wonder that didn't split him wide open. Barr tries for a left hook. Brian throws a huge right hand. Goes back to that standing wrist lock. Same hold he had on the bull. He's got it on Jesse Barr now. 
Billy Jack saying, give it to me, give it to me. He tags Billy Jack. In comes Billy Jack, and out goes Jesse Barr. He bails out onto the floor. I have never seen Jesse Barr run from an individual like that, but he's running from Billy Jack. He doesn't want anything to do with Billy Jack Hayes. Billy saying, what do I have to do to get you in the ring here? Lou the Bull Andrews giving me some tongue lashing, telling me to call the match as I see it. Well, I'm calling it as I see it, and Billy Jack Hayes has Jesse Barr afraid of him. The fans know it. Billy Jack's going to have his hands full with Lou the Bull Andrews. Always, always the nemesis. Jesse Barr. Phenomenal athlete, one of the better in the world today. Oh, Billy Jack Hayes takes a huge tackle from the Bull. Well, that'll clack your teeth in a hurry. Down went Billy Jack. Side headlock like <laughs> by Lou the Bull Andrews. Haynes shoots him off the rope, takes another tackle by the Bull. Well, that's two in a row. That's got Billy's attention. Say, boy, that sure got me. Put the end of my tongue off on that one. Rough business, fans. Rough, rough business. These are pros. Inside hammerlock by Billy Jack Hayes. Gets up, pull a huge knee lift. It's payback time. Picks the bull up by the stack and swivel by the hair. Lion bears him. Hits the rope, comes across. He's gonna sit down on him and he does. That got the bull's attention. If you wanna play tackle, tackle, let's try this. The bruiser comes in. They're working him all the, oh, look at here, the bruisers almost took his head off, bent him over that top cable. You notice Jesse Barr hasn't come close to the ring while Hayes was in there. Oh, my! Bruiser Brian Cox ran that tackle into the bull so hard it lifted Bruiser off the mat on that one. And the bull is getting up after, that's generally one of his top finishing holes in the bull. Got up! Oh my, what a strong individual that Lou the Bull Andrews. They don't, nobody gives him that much credit. He's methodical. Oh, double kick. Bruiser ran into a hornet's nest on that one. Jesse Barr going for a neck breaker. Down goes the Bruiser. Jesse Barr with a and knee drop to the jaw. Double chop. Stomps Bruiser right in the face. Billy Jack looking on, saying, I'd like to get a piece of you, but you won't get close enough to my corner. There's an elbow. Oh, he throws a chop. That brings Billy Jack in the ring. In the meantime, Bull jumps into the ring with Jesse Barr. They've got Bruiser Bryan at their mercy. Referee's chasing the Bull, saying, get out of the ring. Barr steps out. There was no tag. Flying Maribel, Lou the Bull Andrews on Bruiser Brian Cox. He's learned that knee drop from Jesse Barr, holding Bruiser at bay with it. Hard right hand, hard right hand. Bruiser Brian Cox is being drugged back. To the corner, there's a double, double chop. Close line as he come off the rope. Bar going back to that sit down. Meantime, Billy Jack Haynes is getting the fans up to ringside. Look at Jesse Barr. Ever, ever, ever methodical. Constantly working on the opponent. Oh, he's just right handing the forehead of Brian Cox. Just pummeling him. Stomping him across the forehead with that big size 14 boot of his. Cruiser Brian looking for a corner to get to, trying to find where Billy Jack is. Oh, there's a chop to the throat. 
by Jesse Barr. Billy Jack complaining vehemently at ringside. Jesse Barr back in with that reverse chin lock, weakening, ever weakening his opponent. Billy Jack, ever the cheerleader for his tag team partner. Don't think that doesn't help when the crowd is behind you. Billy knows how to get them up, and that's exactly what he's doing. You are watching one of the legends of Oregon wrestling history, Billy Jack Haynes, at work on the ring apron right now, fans. Everybody loves Billy Jack Haynes. I wish he'd come back to the Northwest permanently as a permanent fixture here and help bring wrestling back where it should be in its rightful place here. All the wrestlers that were here at one time went back to join the WWF. Now they're slowly, one by one, coming back because the WWF, most of the power people in it are from the Pacific Northwest, and they know it. Billy Jack Haynes trying to get him, his tag team partner to come over to the corner. He's begging him, come on, Bruiser, let me get pieces of him. Bruiser hits the ring ropes, comes off bar, stomps him in the face, puts that big boot up there. Look at here, Barr back into the corner. He's going up on the second rope. Coming off that second rope, on the Bruiser, Brian. Oh, that bro, that terrible punishment that young man is taking. Trying to get to his corner, he thinks that the bull is his partner, he's groggy. In comes the bull, Barr tags him legitimately. Of course, they're gonna work him over some more. Punish him, wear him down. The big man from Idaho is playing their game now. He reached for the ropes doing anything he can to become coherent again. He tries to get to his corner. Tries to get to his corner. There's a body slam. Blue the Bull Andrews picks up 300 pounds, drops an elbow across his chest. Oh, I thought we had a pin. Referee Dale Wire. Went to two and a half on that one. The Bruiser trying, trying to get back to his corner. Can't find it at the moment. Bull pushes him into bar. Bar elbows him across the forehead. You see how this tag team works, don't you, folks? You gotta try to keep your opponent closer to your corner to keep him from tagging his partner across the ring. It takes a lot of working together to coordinate that kind of wrestling. And it appears that Blue the Bull Andrews and Jesse Barr are expert at it. Billy Jack Haynes just frothing at the bit, wanting to get in to get parts of Jesse Barr. Don't kid yourself, that vendetta between Billy Jack Haynes and Jesse Barr goes back a long way. Too. Look at look at Billy Jack Haynes getting the people up. He's got the people in a frenzy, whipping them up into a frenzy. He's got them all whipped up. The bruiser, hearing the roar of the crowd, is starting to come back ever so slowly, trying to muster up some strength in that intestinal fortitude, pushing his way towards Haynes. Every inch, he's almost got Billy Jack in the ring. They're ever so close. Jesse Barr trying to force the Bruiser back. The Bruiser coming back. Barr grabs the tights, rakes him back over to the corner. Oh, the action is insurmountable here, fans. Try for a bit. All my office cohorts, John L. Scott of Vancouver out on 179th Street, are watching this match tonight with earnest anticipation that Billy Jack and Brian Cox will become victorious. Bruiser trying to wipe out those cobwebs. Throws an elbow into the midsection. Another one of the, he's got the bull bending over. He hits the ropes, comes across the bull, misses him. 
They both, they both tackle one another. Down they go. Boy, they collided like two rhinos. The boom, down they both went. Jesse Barr stomps off the brew. He was so close, and so close to tagging Billy Jack Hayes. Barr intercepted him just in the nick of time. Oh, I hate to see what's going to happen when Hayes finally does get a hold of Barr. All four men equally, equally balanced in weight, size, and stature. They're all tipping close to 300 pounds. One of them's over 300 pounds. But they're incredible athletes. Extremely fast for their size. Marvelous conditioned athletes. Pros at their highest quality. Brian comes over. Oh, there's the tag. In comes Billy Jack Hayes. Referee Dale Wire didn't see the tag. He's putting Billy back out. In the meantime, Barr and a puller working on Billy is fit to be tied. There was a tag, but the referee didn't see it. He's making Billy get out. Oh, they just, they just crucified Cox. Just beat him half to death. Brian Cox kicks out. I don't, I don't understand where this young man's resilience is coming from. Where, where did he reach back to do that? They just pummeled him mercifully in that corner. Mercifully. Brian Cox shoots. Oh, they tried for a double. Boy, they both tried. Oh, they both got a clothesline. Man, these two guys are just, they're going at one another. They're both going for the same maneuver, and they're banging heads, banging elbows, banging bodies. There's a tag by Brian Cox. He in comes Billy Jack, and he's after board. Look out, he knocks the ball off in the apron. He puts the boost, the board down, goes far. Billy's looking for people to pummel. Oh, he just throws a huge right hand. He's after four. He stomps him in the gut. Picks him up by the hair. Double chops him. He's got Barr. Barr is begging for mercy. There's that back suplex by Billy Jack that he's so famous for. He's asking, and he's going to go for the world-famous Full Nelson. He is the master of the Full Nelson. When he puts it on you, the match is over. There goes the Full Nelson. Oh, no. Dane Rush comes in the ring. He went to hit. Oh. He went to hit Billy Jack Haynes with some sort of a foreign object. Oh, Barr picked it up off the mat and he just busted Billy Jack. Out goes Billy Jack. He's hitting Bruiser Bryan with it. Dane Rush broke into the ring out of nowhere. The match was almost over. Oh, get I, get this man out of there. Oh, hard right hand. What? The, that's a tape piece of steel. Of, is that a piece of pipe? He's working a bruiser, hitting him right in the jaw with it. Meanwhile, Billy Jack Haynes is out on the floor. He's looking for something. Billy Jack's coming back into the ring. He's got a chair. Look out. Oh, he just busted far. He broke the chair off the far's back. Oh, five men were in the ring at the same time. Look at Billy Jack. He's, they're still trying to do damage to Brian Cox. Billy Jack Haynes. Referee Dale Wire has just disqualified the team of Jesse Barr and Lou the Bull Andrews. Billy Jack trying to protect Brian Cox at ring center. Brian saying, what in the world is this in here? Brian doesn't even know where he's at. He's staggering around. He's just, he's lost it. He's out of it. He's seeing birds right now. Fans, this is Dutch Savage. This is Championship USA Wrestling. The winners of this main event on TV tonight, Billy Jack Haynes and Brian Cox. And we'll be right back with an interview right after this.
Friends, at the end of Northeast C.C. Landon Road, high atop of C.C. Landon Mountain, five bedrooms, $379,000, sitting on 19 view acres. These views, you will not believe. There's another four packages that go along with this property that will make 100 acres should you desire to buy them. Don't forget to call me on this one. Take a look at this to die for view. Fruit, fruit trees, all kinds of property, everywhere you look, view, view, view. Give me a call. This is Dutch Savage for the big one, John L. Scott Real Estate, 574-9400. Whether it's a hot rod with a beautiful engine or just a family kid around car, come to Freddy's Auto Sales and Service Center located at 664 Baseline in Cornelius, Oregon. That's area code 503-357-9838. Area code 503-357-9838. It's all here. Freddy's Auto Sales and Service Center. Say out last manual. Fans, they just won their match by disqualification, but I want you to listen to something. This is what Barr was given by Dane Rush. Listen to this. You see the chips flying off my desk right there? That's a piece of steel. That thing weighs about three pounds. You think it's all over, don't you? You just can't get the job done. By yourself. You knew the baddest man around was in town. So you got to resort to this. Billy Jack. Brother. I'm not thinking too clear right now, Dutch. We took a couple good shots to the head by about, uh, where is it? Five pounds of steel, looks like. You know, I came home. I've been in the USWA back in Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, representing the state of Oregon. I won the USWA Heavyweight Championship. I held it for four months against Sid Vicious, Lex Luger, Davy Boy Smith, a lot of tough men. When I left here, this kid here, I said one day would be one of the toughest, if not the toughest, man in pro wrestling. Well, you've improved a lot, Bruiser Brian. You phoned me up. You said you want me to come down. I said I'm only going to be here for one week. I fulfilled my agreement. I see what's happening here. Same old, same old. Guys running out. Used to be chairs. Now it's five pounds of steel because I said someone's going to take a ride in the ambulance, Dutch. Now you know first class, you know, about wrestling here in the Northwest because you're a legend. You're the legend here in the Northwest. Now, I'm here to say this, but let's just cut it short. I'll say this. I'm from here in the Northwest. The hell with the USWA. I'm going to stay here. And I will say this. If they want three men, Dane Rush, Jesse Barr, and this Lou Andrews, yeah, they're tough. So is Bruiser Brian, Billy Jack, and the Northwest is tough. So, to the point is this, prior to me coming to this match tonight, I talked to a man, and he said, you may run into problems tonight, Billy, because there's a lot of back jumpers here, and there is. So I told him if there is, would he have a triple tag with us next Sunday night at the Bagley? And he said, yeah. So what I'm going to do is make a call to Jimmy Superfly Stuka. And it's already said and done, Dutch. He told me this is going to happen. So Bruiser Brian, Billy Jack, and Jimmy Stuka next Sunday here. And we'll get Sandy Barr to finalize everything, but I'm sure everything will be just fine. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. That's great. Bruiser Brian Cox, Billy Jack Hayes. They're asking Jimmy Superfly Snooker to stag up with them tonight here at the Bagley Arena. Tonight here. Don't forget, get your get in here early, fans. The roof, the building, it's not going to be big enough to hold it. Billy Jack Hayes, Bru Bru Bruiser Brian Cox, Jimmy Superfly Snooker against the pack. Jesse Barr, Lou the Bull Andrews, and Dane Rush. Fans, I'm going to
to buy myself a ticket to that one. We'll be right back. Announcing another fabulous addition to the Interstate Pavilion, it's Sandy and Tito's Ringside Gym. This full-service facility is designed for the entire family and is open 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. The Ringside Gym is associated with Tito's Gym in Beaverton with affordable day, week, and monthly rates. Hi, folks. I'm Sandy Barr. For great buys, come on over to the flea mart any Saturday or Sunday. We're open from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Also, every Wednesday evening from 5 to 9 p.m., there's great bargains along with new and handcrafted items. We call it the Bargain Fair. And don't forget, Portland Wrestling still lives, only it's in Vancouver, just 10 minutes away. For directions or information, call 283-6993. Dane Rush, Jesse Barlew, the Bull Andrews, the Pack. Check it out, Mr. Savage. We know who the bullies are. Bullies! Billy Jack and Bruiser Brian, you had everything coming that you got here tonight. We were standing. And you looked hurt. Everybody tonight saw who ended up with the chairs. We don't cheat. We're the most honest wrestlers here. Period. You know this is almost funny. It makes me want to laugh. Come out here. Everybody's talking about how we're the losers and how they won the match. Well, if we lost that match and they won the match, how come we were the ones standing with our heads held high and they were laying flat on their back? You know, Billy Jack, you were the greatest wrestler of the 80s. Jimmy Snuka was one of the greatest of the 70s. That's right. But now, they're looking at the greatest. The pack. The toughest. The meanest. Oh. The greatest champions oh. of the 90s. The pack. And next week, you're going to find out what tough really is. There you have it, fans. We got a six-man tag match coming up tonight here at the Bagley Center. Jesse Barr, Lou the Bull Andrews, the Dane pack. the Body Rush. The pack is back. There's going to be excitement in the air. Be here, Bagley Center Championship USA Professional Wrestling.